welcome back. Today we're working another thin wall pressure vessel problem. This one's harder. Okay, we can do it though. I got your back. What do we got? We got a barrel of <laughs> brain juice, okay? We need to take us a drink so we can, you know, juice it up. We need our brain to work really good, don't we? Let's see what we got. We got a 24 inch OD on this barrel. The outer diameter, that's important, okay? Quarter inch wall thickness. The band, this green band that goes around it is made out of A36 steel. The barrel's made out of A36 steel. But the cross section of the band is one inch tall by a quarter inch wide. So what do you want from us, okay? Well, here's the deal. The band that goes on there, that ring, is not big enough, okay? So if the ring is only 23.99 inches, it has to fit on the a 24 inch that should be not ID, that should be OD, OD barrel, and has an ambient temperature, the outside air temperature is 70 degrees, right? What temperature is gonna make it fit on the ring? So first off, we need to know, how big is it around the barrel, okay? Well, how about this little equation here? Pi D, what does Pi D give you? The circumference of the barrel, okay? So let's see. That's going to be pi, 3.14159265353. Well, a lot, right? Uh, pi times the diameter of the barrel, which is 24 inches, okay? And then we've got the circumference of the ring, which is pi d also, but it's pi times 23.99 inches, okay? So let's see what those two guys are. Calculator. Okay. So we got pi times 24. Well, that's 75.398. And then we got pi times 23.99. And that's 75.367. Now this calculator rounds, doesn't it? Because we know the pi goes on forever, right? So what I want is how much bigger does this need to be to fit over that, okay? And let's see, if we take that and subtract it from that, what do we get? So 75.398 minus answer equals Oh, you're not gonna believe this. Delta needs to equal 0 0.03141592926, right? It's pi. Yeah, it is. Okay, so what is, how are we gonna make that, how are we gonna make this that much bigger? We're gonna crank up the temperature. So thankfully thermal expansion is gonna make that ring bigger, isn't it? Okay, so what do we need to do? We need a delta equals um, delta T, uh, alpha, and then L, okay? Now we can look up alpha, that's a look em up value. We look it up for A36 steel, and alpha for A36 steel is 6.6 .6 times 10 to the minus six per degree F, right? Or move the decimal over six places, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, six per degree F, right? Okay, so let's see if we can find that temperature that it takes to make that ring fit on the barrel, okay? The delta is here. So 0 0.03141159 is equal to delta T, okay? So that's temperature new minus temperature original, okay? And that's gonna be that's going to be F, okay, times alpha, which is per degree F. So this F and the per degree F, that's going to cancel out. No units there, right? 0.00001345666, okay? And then what is L? I'm going to put a little O there. What does that O mean? That is always in that equation the original length, okay, so the, of the thing that we're trying to heat up. So what are we trying to heat up? Well, the ring. 
So that's the unit that or the number that I need to use for L. Okay. 75.367. All right, let's go, team. Now this is what we're looking for right there. Okay. Because new temperature is the one that's going to make that band fit on our barrel. Okay, so here we go. What do we got? 0 0.03141596 divided by 0.1234566 equals divided by 75.367 equals 63.157. Is equal to TN, new temperature minus 70. So whoop, move the 70 over, plus 70 equals 133.157 degrees. Okay? So that's our new temperature that we need to reach in order to. Um, in order to make that ring fit on the barrel. Okay? So that's kind of step one, okay? Well, actually, that's the answer to question number one, isn't it? That answers that question, check mark. Okay, the next one, once you start to cool this, right? We got it slid on there now, right? Now it starts to cool, but and it wants to go back to 70 degrees because that's what the air temperature is, right? So once it starts to cool, how much stress in the, is there in the ring, okay? Well, it wants to cool back to where it started from, doesn't it? It wants to go back to where it started from. But it can't because the barrel is saying, I'm going to hold you where you are. What's going to hold it? A force in that strap, okay? So what we're going to have is this. We're going to have a delta, which is this same delta, 0 0.0314159, okay? Okay. But this time, instead of equaling temperature, it's going to equal our play equation, okay? So PL over AE, which is P. That's the force that the, the barrel is causing in the strap to keep it elongated, okay? Times L, the original length of the strap, which was there, 75.367 inches. Careful about units for the hundred thousandth time. The cross-sectional area of the strap. So what is the area of the cross-section? It's 1 times 0.25, which is, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here, 0.25 inches squared, right, times E. E is a look-em-up value. We have to get our book, right? We have to look up in our table here on metric. Or freedom units, freedom units, okay? And A36 steel is 29 times 10 to the 3 KSI. Okay, so what is that? 29 times 1, 2, 3, times 10 to the 3 kips per inches squared, okay? Look here, inches squared cancel out, inches cancel out, and I'm left with when I find P, it's going to be in what? It's going to be in kips, isn't it? That's important to do a unit analysis to make sure you know what your answer's in, okay? So here we go. Let's calculate this, shall we? Clear calculator. Okay, so 75.367 divided by 0.25 equals divided by 29. Oh, 29. 9, 0, 0, 0 equals little bitty. I'm going to take that number and divide it into this. And so P is equal to 0.03141526 divided by answer 3.022. Um, what is that? Kips. Okay. But that's the force in the rod. Well, you say, well, well that's not very much force, is it? That's Kips. That's a thousand pounds. So that's three thousand pounds of stretching force there. Okay, so okay, it's a lot. And, but I, and I need to find the stress. So what kind of stress does that sound like? If I have the barrel ring and I pull on it, that sounds like it's kind of a tensile stress, doesn't it? That sounds like normal stress. That sounds like sigma stress. 
That's P over A. So that's going to be 3.0, oh, two, that's a two, two kips divided by A, the cross-sectional area, we got it already, it's right there, 0.25 inches squared. So it's going to give us KSI, isn't it? So divided by 0.25 is 12.088. Okay, so that is the sigma stress that is on the ring, okay? Now, what is the ring? We're talking thin wall pressure vessels. Remember, we had two equations for thin wall pressure vessels, didn't we? What were they? We need some room. Okay, I'm going to erase this. We got this, right? And I'm going to erase this too. Just give myself a little bit of room here. Okay. The two equations were sigma equals PR over T. Do you remember what that was? Remember that was hoop stress. And we had sigma equals PR over 2T, which we called longitudinal stress longitudinal stress, okay? Well, guess what? That band around that barrel is a literal hoop, isn't it? It is causing a hoop stress, a squeezing stress on that barrel, okay? So the last question says, find the pressure in the barrel. Well, I already know what the hoop stress is because I just calculated it. It's right there. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this top equation which we already know what sigma is, 12.088 KSI equals kips per square inch equals P, P, the pressure, okay? That's what we're looking for, isn't it? Times R, okay, now what is R? Come on, gang, what is R? R, remember, is the radius, but don't be tricked, it's the inner radius, okay? So if the OD is 24, how much is the inner radius, okay? Well, that, that means that the inner diameter is minus a quarter, minus a quarter, 23.5, right? So the inner radius must be 23.5 divided by 2, right? 11.75. Now, a lot of people would miss that right there, okay? 11.75 inches. Okay, PR over T, and T is what? T is just the thickness, the wall thickness, 0.25 inches. Now, what do we got? Inches cancel out, and so when I find P, it's going to be in what? KSI, isn't it? So the pressure in that barrel of brain juice is going to be 12.088 times 0.25 equals, and then divided by 11.75 equals 0.257 KSI. Or, or, what's a better way to write that? 257 PSI, okay? So that ring, when it cools down, is going to put a pressure on the inside of that barrel uh, of 257 PSI. Okay. Man, we went around the world for that one, didn't we? All right, gang. I hope that helps remember our thin wall pressure vessel equations. Okay. And uh, we had to use some other stuff from way back, didn't we? All right. I hope you followed me. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video.